How do you um, create this like smooth, easy customer journey that feels to f- like it fits that customer themselves? But as you're saying, Errol, it doesn't have to be with this like over personalized. 20 SDR team, you can do it in a, in a more automated way, but it's not just on the outbound side. It's that it's, it's the streamlining of the entire process from top of funnel all the way through to customer success, which of course is what RevOps is. That's the point. It's, it's, it is the, the function that is designed to create the efficiencies across that revenue generating organization as a whole. So let's dive into some of the specifics of, okay, there's, there are companies listening now who are convinced they do think it's sexy. They love the idea. So how do they start to build this from the ground up? That's the $10 million question. Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I think So I don't think that there's one right answer for every single company. I'll caveat it with that. You have to really, it really depends on what your revenue model is, what industry you're operating within. But for the most part, I would say, um, like, let's talk about like broad strokes and then we can maybe get into details if you want. I would say hire uh, senior people first, if you can. I understand that it's more expensive, but hire someone who has a strategic vision in terms of how the team scales and the leader first. It's really an unfortunate situation when you hire someone who's more tactical and then six months into their role there, they have a new boss. That's unfun. Uh, And it also creates a lot of disruption in the organization. So bring in a good leader. They usually have good people that will follow them. And that's like a good cohesive team. So I would say think about it from that perspective. When you're bringing these people on, think about their roles because it's a highly fun. uh, uh, Sorry like high, highly fluctuating type of team generally, depending on how fast the company is growing. So these individuals who work within the revenue, oper- revenue operations team have to be growth oriented. Cause a lot of the mm-hmm. times, if you're really growing super quickly, the job that you're hired to do today is very different than the job you'll end up doing in nine to 12 months. And so learning how to either coach and develop those people into the new roles is something you're going to have to figure out or like how you're going to continue to hire. That would be an idea. Uh, And then I would think of like map out your annual objectives of what you want to do and make sure everyone is aligned around that. I can, can't tell you how many times companies don't actually lay out their OKRs first Mm -hmm. and then ensure that they have the right people who are going to support those goals throughout the year at the right time. They usually just start moving as opposed to planning first. So I would say like high level tactically, I think you would need like, you know, a couple pillars, maybe like, like a a systems person to really design how all of the data is flowing, uh, data and analytics to, to look at the data and analyze, and then sort of like generic operations in terms of making sure those things like actually work from a tactical level. It's like loosely the start of, of three pillars. And that can be one person if you're early on one really senior person or one senior person, a couple junior people.